Come on. Praise him. Hallelujah. Please. Please, Lord. Order my steps in your word. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. We need a word from you. We will not be sidetracked by the tricks of the adversary. Yes. But we declare to go forth in the name of Jesus. Father, your blood prevails right now. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. All those that rise up against us will fall. We speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. God, because you're ever present help in a time of trouble, we say thank you. We say thank you. Come on, church. Praise the Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. One more time, we honor the Lord for his goodness to the ministerial staff. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. To our deacons and trustees. Amen. And you, the body of Christ, we greet you in the name of the Lord, the name that's above every name. Amen. We're thanking God for safe passage as we just arrived back from North Carolina, and I tell you that highways, amen, ain't what they used to be, amen, trying to do 85 on 85, it just don't work anymore, Calvin, amen, brother Sonny, amen, we gotta go slow now, amen, can't see like I used to see, amen, so we thank God, amen, we shortened down stay, amen, so we can be back in the presence of God, oh, amen, yes, and with the yes, body of yes. Christ. We honor the Lord, we honor the Lord. Went down there, amen, for a particular portion of business, but there's no greater business than the serving the Lord. Amen. The Lord's business is first. Yes, yes. And I got some family members down there, so I went to see, amen, almost like a stepdad to me. I went uh -huh. to visit him and, and his children, amen, and you know, just going to visit on my amen. way. Amen. And amen. The young lady, amen, who would possibly be considered as my niece uh -huh. was there and started asking me some questions uh -huh. about Jesus. Uh -huh. And before we left the house, she gave her heart to the Lord. Amen. amen. So the trip was well worth it. Amen. amen. I'll travel anywhere for a soul to lead somebody to Jesus Christ. And so we thank God. Amen for that. And our brother John, who's with us uh, via Zoom. Amen. Amen. We met John at the Bible study. John been coming to the Bible. Hey, John. John been coming to the Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the cry came from John and said, would you come over to India yeah. and minister? Amen. They going through something. We look at the things that are going on around yeah. us. Yeah. But we got to be careful because things uh -huh. are going on all oh, around the yeah. world. We don't want to limit our vision, amen, to just me, my three, my four, and no more. We want to be able to look globally as God would have us to do. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But God wants us to have a global vision, amen. God gives us a heart for the world, not just for St. John's, amen. St. John's is paramount. That's my home. Amen. But God calls us, amen, to share the love of God all over the world. And so we thank God for that. Amen. We're in the book of Judges, amen, chapter 4. But I'm going to Judges chapter 1, chapter 21, verse 25. I'm going to read this word to you because it breaks my heart. Amen. It really brings sadness to my heart. When the Bible says in Judges chapter 1, verse 25, it says, In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Every man did that which he believed to be right in his own eyes and we gotta watch out don't want to get in my own way uh -huh. 
I think I know God. This is the word of God in Judges chapter 4. And this is Deborah. She says, I will draw unto thee to the river of Kishon, Sisera, the king of Jabab's army, with his chariots and, with, and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thy hand. And Barak said unto her, if thou go with me, then I'll go. But if thou go not with me, then I will not go. I just want to take a few minutes and talk on the subject. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Amen. Come with me. Carefully and prayerfully considering this particular portion of scripture, we see that uh, the people of God had just experienced a tremendous victory with God in the book of Joshua. God had promised them this beautiful land that was flowing with milk and honey, amen, and gave them, amen, grapes the size of apples, amen, and caused their enemies to scatter. I, I just want to glorify God for what a mighty God he we serve when we walk, amen, in obedience to the will of God. You know, the word of God said there's no good thing Amen. That God will withhold from them that walk up right. I tell you, there's something about trusting God and there's something about, amen, just believing God and just walking in his ways and just lifting up his name and just, you know, even when we feel weak, say, Lord, order my steps. Or, or when we get on track, say, God, bring me back. God, take me back to that place where I was in you because there's something about the presence of God that seemingly no money in the world could buy. There's something oh yeah there's something about the presence of God that'll make you want to live right it'll it'll make you want to sing when nobody else is singing it'll make you want to dance when nobody else is there there's something about God's goodness and this is why the songwriter said that all I got to do is just think on the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for me and my soul Our very soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for salvation. Anybody else? Can I get a witness? Thank God. Amen. For waking you up and making a way and just guiding you and leading you. Providing for you. So God had blessed the people of God. God had been with the people of God. And so now Joshua's leaving, and we talked about it in the Sunday school lesson. Glory to God. Joshua was able to see how the enemy could come in and how the enemy could sidetrack you. You know, it's amazing how sometimes when you're walking with God, hallelujah, long as you're not doing nothing for God, devil don't never try to mess with you. But the minute you make up your mind, you want to serve God and you want to pay your tithes and you want to honor God all of a sudden. Hell seems to break loose and glory to God. And so the Bible tells us, glory to God, that Joshua made this declaration and he told them. You know, it's amazing, huh? You, you, you ever heard somebody say, how many times I got to tell you the same thing? Mama used to say that, don't tell them. Boy, didn't I tell you? If you just walk with God, if you just serve the Lord, he says, choose this day. Choose this day who you're going to serve. The time for games is over. It's time out for playing church. God has called you to live this thing. And Joshua says, listen, you do what you want. You can go wherever you want to go. You want to build an idol. 
You want to make other gods that are not God, but as for me in my house, Nanamoshaya, we are going to serve the Lord. And then he died. And then he died. And so there was no king. There was no leader. There was no one in charge. And so the Bible says that as you look at this book, this sad book, uh -huh. they begin to raise up gods and they begin to allow the neighbors to intermingle with them. And, and you know, you got to be so careful. You got to be careful. Like everybody can't get in the circle. You know, and, and it's not that I'm better than, it's just that I'm different. That I've been born again, I've been redeemed, I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Ah, okay. And so everybody can't get in, and so they begin to let the neighbors come in. And they begin to let the neighbors' beliefs begin to penetrate, and, 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 and they begin to believe the lies of their neighbors' And so anytime we walk in rebellion toward God, there's always consequences. And sometimes the consequences don't come right away. You know, sometimes God will try to woo you back to him. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's such a loving father. They said, just come back. Just come on back. And the neighbors begin to lie and to deceive them. And they begin to move in the way of the world and of the way of their neighbors. Glory to God. And God would allow them to get in captivity again because of their own rebelliousness. You know, I like to blame people when things happen to me. You know, if they just would have did that. But God said, Kevin, I want you to take a look in the mirror because you're the problem. You're the one that caused the situation and there's nobody to blame you can't blame that ex-wife or you can't blame that co-worker or you can't say well my boss God said take a look in the mirror if you take a look in the mirror you'll see who caused the major problem yeah I know I'm preaching I know and so they're in captivity again Ooh. Thank God for Joe B. He said, listen, he said, listen, preacher. He said, in life, he said, you're going to make mistakes. He said, but you don't want to keep making the same mistakes. He said, you want, you want some different ones. Because if you keep making the same mistakes, it says that you're not learning anything. Well, well, well. Uh -huh. And so they were in captivity again. Hallelujah. The children of Israel did evil in the sight of God when, when, the, when, when the leader was dead. And God allowed them to come into captivity and they were being ruled by the adversary. And you got to be careful. If you don't walk with God, you find yourself following under the leadership of the devil himself. Glory to God. You got to be so careful. This thing is serious. This thing is not a game. This thing called holiness. That's why the Bible said, follow peace with all men and holiness without no man shall see God. You got to live this thing. You got to walk upright. And so now, even though they're in bondage, glory to God, even though they're held captive, uh, glory to God, I thank God that we serve a mighty God. Amen. In the middle of our trouble, in the middle of my own dilemma, the mess that I caused for myself, God, in the goodness of his greatness and in the greatness of his goodness, he still comes and said, I'll make a way out of no way. Glory to God in the, the servant of God, Barak. He's still feeling real sad and, and down and out. And Deborah, the prophet, thank God for women. Uh, the prophet is of God. Uh, glory to God. Uh, Sometimes I think they talk too much, but I need them. I know. She said, no, 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 no. Thank God for women. Uh, God will send a woman uh, to make a way uh, out of no way. Uh, my God is an awesome God. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. God will make a way out of no way. My God is a mighty God. My God is an awesome God. 
Glory to God. God sends a word to a woman. Don't write nobody off. Don't write nobody off. God can speak to you through anybody. Can you get a witness? God is so mighty that he can take anybody. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible said God is no respecter of persons. God will use anybody to encourage your heart. Glory, I remember, I remember I was going through and I was feeling down and I had this co-worker used to always give me trouble and always mess with me because I was born again and tell me I thought I was better because I was a believer. I didn't smoke and drink and I didn't do this and I didn't do that and one day I was feeling real sad and not that bad and the same brother came and said, listen, you're going to be all right. And I said, wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, not this guy, not this guy, the one that can't stand me, but God will use anybody. And so God comes through the servant of God. Uh, the prophet is, she's a prophet, she's a poet. Uh, glory to God, her name is Honeybee, right? Something sweet. Uh, there's something about the bee that pollinates the flower. Uh, glory to God, that helps us to survive and helps us to grow. And so God sends this prophet and she tells him to go. Raise up, get this army. God is going to give you the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to give you the victory. But he's so used to defeat. He's so used to discouragement. You got to be careful what you say to yourself. You got to be careful what you tell yourself. Well, I ain't got no money. No, 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 no. God is going to make a way. Hallelujah. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do that. God's going to make a way. You got to be careful with speak negatively to yourself because if you, as you speak, so it comes to pass. And so he was discouraged. And she said, listen, listen, God's got you. God is going to give you the victory. And so he says to her, come with me. Asha, come with me. And her response, hallelujah, her response, she says, listen, she says, I, that should have been the topic, I got you, right? That's, I'm going to change the topic, I got you, that's a new topic. She said, I got you. She said, but I want you to know something, uh, that when God gives you the victory, you're not going to get the honor. The honor's going to go to a... Oh my God, y'all with me today? You hear these women talking loud? I said, when you get the honor, the honor's gonna go to a what? To a woman. But thank God, the victory is more important than the honor. Amen. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, the victory is more important than the accolades. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. And, and, so, like, and so like, it doesn't matter who brings them to the Lord long as they come long as we get the victory right and so glory to god she says i got you right and, and and god is saying to you today glory to god wherever you may be on the zoom platform uh, glory to god and if you just call on me if you just trust me i got you uh, glory to god i know the doctor says something but I got you. I, I know, amen, there's no money in the bank account, but I got you. I, I got you. I, I got you all the way. Come hello, come out, Lord. I'm, I'm going to see you through. Well, how do I know that God has got me? Because the Bible says that I'll be with you until the end of all earth. He said, Lo, I'll be with you until the end of all age so if Jesus goes with me I'll go anywhere I'll trust anything cause God 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 said I got you I know you're going through grief I got you I know you're worried about what's happening around you I got you I know you're scared to walk outside at night 
I got you. I got you. I got you in the morning. I got you in the evening. I got you in the noonday. I got you on Sunday. I got you on Monday. I got you on Tuesday. I got you. I got you. And not only do I got you, but you got me. You got Jesus, the light of the world, the bridge. got you. Stop worrying. I got you. Who's going to be the pastor of St. John's? I got you. I got you. How am I going to finish my life? I got you. God said, I got you all the way. I know what the doctor said, but I got you. I got you. St. John's, be encouraged that God has got you all the way. But one of the most significant points to this scripture, Sister Rini, you don't have to go through alone. You ain't got to go through. If you're afraid, and it's okay to be afraid, it just don't let fear dominate you. You know that fear will cripple you if you let it. Right? But in the middle of fear, you can still have courage. And if you feel afraid, then you look over at your neighbor, and she might be a woman, and you say, come with me. Because this journey is not done alone. This journey is not done alone. I need you. I need you to go with me. St. John's, I need you to help me to build up the body of Christ in St. John's. I need you to help me to get these young people. I need you. I need you. And so you don't tell me I'm, well, I'm working. You can, all you got to do is reach out and say, I got you. I got you. And together we grow. Because it's not about the honor. It's about the victory. Everyone's standing at this time. And the victory comes through Christ Jesus. I got you. You ain't got to do it alone. I'm so sorry, I forgot getting so caught up into this sermon, I forgot to acknowledge Naomi's here. Naomi, raise your hand. I'm going to talk about Naomi a little bit as we open the doors of the church. Naomi is so special to me, right? That when the doctors told me, they said, listen, you used to be borderline diabetic. They said, now you're diabetic. I called Naomi up. Naomi eats healthy. She's a vegan. I love that. Naomi said, Daddy, I got you. So she's helping me change my diet. As the doors of the church stand ajar, if you're here, you don't know Jesus is your Savior. You could be on the Zoom platform. You might have just joined. You can have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Like the Messiah accepted Jesus Christ on Friday. If you're here under the sound of my voice and you don't know Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you might be afraid. God says, I got you. Open up your heart and I will come in. He'll make your life brand new. Hallelujah. God will take care of you. Would there be one today? Say, I need Jesus Christ. God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. God loves you.
come to Jesus on the Zoom platform. Anybody on Zoom want to say yes to Jesus? Anybody on Zoom want to say yes to Jesus? You can raise your hand on the Zoom platform and we will acknowledge you. God loves you. While you still have time, make up your mind to say yes to the Lord. If you're here under the sound of my voice, you don't know him as your savior. God loves you. He'll save you. He'll change your life. Brand new, brand new, brand new in Jesus. God loves you. God loves you. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for those who are joining with us on the Zoom platform. Thank you for those who are standing around who have special needs and special requests. The word of God says that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. That we might obtain help and 